All right, y'all, welcome to the show. I got a big one. So, um, Trump is already shattering corruption records. Uh, he's going to be even more insane compared to his last time in office. If you Don't you remember when he first got elected, um, he did this whole show about how I'm putting all my money in a blind trust. I'm not going to worry anything about profits while I'm president. And it was all this, it, it was a facade, but he at least tried to put up the uh, veneer of professionalism and act like, no, 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 there's going to be no conflicts of interest. This time, they're not even bothering with this show, right? I mean, he was corrupt as all hell last time. But this time, there are zero breaks in the car. I'll walk you through that. Uh, we also have the single worst Democrat in the country, Joe Manchin, uh, is speaking out about why he thinks the Democrats lost. And, oh boy, do I have a lot to say about that. Um, then we'll get to CNN humiliating themselves by boot-licking MAGA con artists. We have um, Elon Musk's family has deep ties to the Nazi party and uh, pro-apartheid movements in South Africa. And then we also have the current trans panic that's happening on the right was incredibly debunked by Trump himself. <laughs> you have to hop in your time machine here, but uh, nonetheless, the the logic still applies. So we have all that and more. Everybody do me a big favor. Please subscribe to the channel. That helps out big time. Costs you nothing at all. And uh, much love and a hearty thank you to everybody who supports the show on Patreon or tips with the thanks button on YouTube. Because unlike other outlets, we are not fake independent media. We are real independent media. You guys fund this show from the ground up. We do that and we have the default ads on YouTube. That's the way we make money. I've never had a conversation with an advertiser. I never will have a conversation with an advertiser. Um, I try to keep this thing as pure as humanly possible, so your support is uh, definitely appreciated. All right, let's go ahead and dive into it. Here we go. So look at this, guys. Trump is hiding donors' names as he rakes in secret money for his transition and his inauguration. A decision by Donald Trump's transition team to skip over filing ethics and disclosure forms to the General Services Administration has allowed them to rake in cash from outside sources to fund his transition efforts while not disclosing where the cash is coming from and how much they are taking in. Now, by the way, let's also take a moment here to blame the Supreme Court for what we're witnessing. Because Trump not filing any ethics disclosure forms... That is a direct consequence of the Supreme Court saying, hey, anything you do that's part of your official acts is defensible. It is not criminal. Anything he does is defensible and not criminal, as long as it's part of his official acts. Well, Trump can just say, well, as part of my official acts, I'm not going to fill out these disclosure forms because I believe it's intrusive and it gets in the way of me doing my job well. So piss off with the disclosure forms. And now secret money is pouring in from every which direction. And th these are all people who want favors. These are all people who want to rig government policy in their favor and against regular people. And because the Supreme Court gave Trump so much leeway, because all of these criminal cases that were now uh, looking into Trump are now trashed, he feels totally invincible. Because you know what? He kind of is. Because he kind of got away with 91 crimes. And so here we are. As I said, zero brakes in the car. Zero. According to an alarming report from the New York Times, the unprecedented decision to blow off federal funding of the transition by the president-elect's team opens the door to secret money, which is alarming ethics experts who believe it will result in unknown actors calling the shots in the incoming Trump White House. As the Times' Ken Benzinger and David Farenhold wrote, Quote, President-elect Donald J. Trump is keeping secret the names of the donors who are funding his transition effort, a break from tradition that could make it impossible to see what interest groups, businesses, or wealthy people are helping launch his second term. Adding, Mr. Trump is the first president-elect to sidestep the restrictions, provoking alarm among ethics experts. Every other president, every other president abided by the rules. Trump is not. The report notes Trump and his team are foregoing up to $7.2 million in federal funds by not signing an agreement with the Biden administration, which allows them to raise unlimited funds, including from undisclosed foreign nationals. In other words, if Trump were to abide by the rules and do the ethics disclosure forms 
and have an agreement with the Biden administration, he gets $7.2 million in federal tax money for the transition. They're saying, we don't want the $7.2 million. We're good. And they're taking unlimited funds from elsewhere. By the way, again, it says it right here, including foreign nationals. Could be including even foreign governments. Could be foreign governments paying for special treatment. Heath Brown, a professor of public policy at J John Jay College of Criminal Justice, claimed that should raise red flags. When the money isn't disclosed, it's not clear how much everybody is giving, who is giving it, and what they are getting in return for their donations. It's an area where the vast majority of Americans would agree that they want to know who is paying that bill. Mr. Trump's transition team, formerly known as Trump Vance 2025 Transition Inc., has revealed nothing about how much money it hopes to raise, who has contributed to the fund, or how it is spending the money. The Times is reporting before adding, the current Trump transition, like its predecessors, is set up as a dark money nonprofit. Those groups typically do not have to disclose their donors, even to the Internal Revenue Service. But unlike Mr. Trump's team this year, earlier transitions accepted financial support from the General Services Administration, which oversees much of the transition process. According to Brian Gall, Galley, a Georgetown University law professor, the IRS could require an audit for transparency, but that seems unlikely. Given the political sensitivity of this organization, I'd say the odds of there being, uh, the odds of there being audited are zero. Wow. So, um, guys, in 2016, Trump's transition team, you guys remember this, I've covered this story before. Trump took about a million dollars from the predatory payday loan industry for his inauguration, and then he turned around and dropped the new regulations that were about to go into effect against them and dropped the court cases that were against them for their abusive practices. The Obama administration had had court cases going on against the predatory payday lenders. So he took a million dollars from them, then immediately returned the favor, right? Massive rank corruption. This time, we literally don't even know who's paying him for his transition. We literally don't even know. So is Saudi Arabia giving $10 million, $20 million, is Israel giving $10 million, $20 million? Is Qatar? Trump now has new business interests with Qatar. We already know about the business interests with Israel and Saudi Arabia. But he has business interests with Qatar now. He has business interests with the government of Oman. Are these foreign governments paying him so that when he becomes president, it's, hey, tit for tat, I scratch your back, you scratch mine. What would you like? Would you like more weapons to commit more war crimes? Would you like U.S. taxpayer money? What would you like? Let's, uh, let's make a deal here right? This is, this is how he functions. This is how he works. And there's a word for this. It's called corruption. It's called corruption. And so now, again, they don't even have the pretend optics of seriousness, the pretend optics of objectivity. Which billionaires are giving him money, and what sort of favors would they like in return? Do they want more subsidies? Do they want more tax cuts? Like, this is how we get an oligarchy. This is how we get a plutocracy. We're already there, but this is just making it worse. This is injecting it with steroids and human growth hormone. And really, we're at the point now where I learned a word the other day. You guys are going to like this. Really, we're a cacistocracy now. You know what that means? Basically, government, uh, government ruled by the worst among us, the dumbest among us, the least qualified among us. That's kind of where we are, isn't it? So, um... Guys, he's not, he's not even in the office yet. It's still, he's still just president-elect, and we're already learning. He's going to be the most corrupt president in U.S. history. Remember when his son-in-law took $2 billion from Saudi Arabia? Remember that? People like to talk about the Hunter Biden thing where he took, what, $300,000, $400,000 for that, from that Ukrainian energy company. $2 billion is what Jared Kushner took. And by the way, remember, there were allegations he gave them classified information, and that's when Mohammed bin Salman locked up his enemies, his opponents in a hotel. Do you remember that? That was a huge deal when that happened. But you also have Trump taking tens of millions, if not over a hundred million, from Saudi Arabia for his live golf events. Again, what are they going to get in return? We already know what he did for them the first time around. Congress passed a bill to stop us from arming Saudi Arabia, because they were doing a genocide in Yemen. Trump vetoed that bill. He vetoed a bill to protect Saudi Arabia and be on the side of genocide. What's he going to do this time around? Guys, there are no rules. There's no way to rein him in. He has total fucking free reign. He's going to govern like an emperor. And we're already starting to see the immense corruption. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. 
click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop, and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.